Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Now, what I haven't mentioned recently is how much I've neglected washing this car over winter. I do it every time, it's ridiculous. Obviously, with Max coming along, that has always that has obviously taken priority, um, especially when we were first born. And over the winter month, probably had one wash, if that. So, it's had a bit of a beating from the element. The main bit that's had a beating, which I feel horrific about, because Martin did such a great job, is the white wrap there's like loads of dirt runs and smears that are basically in on the wrap now when and it doesn't come off whenever i wash it it is what it is i've tried a couple of things but i'm still trying to be careful trying to protect it and not be too abrasive so what i've done is i've gathered an array of different products that we can try to see if we can lift that dirt or staining or whatever um out of the wrap without ruining it basically That's a house alarm. Bit of a rave that, innit? Bah, 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 bah. So this will be the first wash of the two washes I'm going to do before the next car show I'm going to, which is the first one of this year uh, that I am attending, uh, Modified Nationals, which is at the end of May, so not far away. So I need to work out how to clean that section before I do my like pre-show wash at the end of the month. But before we try anything, the car needs to be clean in general which it's not so I got my wash and my rinse bucket ready to go two bucket method uh, with a microfiber mitt and I'm just using some shampoo that has no wax in it or anything like that so it's just like pure car washing shampoo without any water repelling elements or anything like that because I don't want it to be protected before I try and do something to it if you get what I'm saying so yeah let's crack on with that bitch basic wash So I've zoomed in on an area where I think we could pick up the most discoloration, um, if, you, if you get what I'm saying. You've got the mark here from the runs from like dirty water, that kind of thing. All this is discoloured on here, runs down this. Uh, spots of dirt that are stuck, that kind of thing. Hopefully you can pick that up. If I find one that works the best, then I'll do different areas so you can see it a bit better. Uh, but we need to be in the shade because we don't want to have direct sunlight on something like this. So the first thing we're going to be using is this chemical guys swift wipe waterless car wash now i originally got this for this issue thinking it was going to work i'll show you what the results are like use after using this because obviously with it not being a quick detailer and being a waterless car wash in my eyes i'm thinking that's going to be a bit more durable so it does say you can leave it on for a bit longer uh, if you want it to work a bit harder on the dirt so i get a good shake make sure it's ready and then i just give it a quick spray on in that area which i do like the their bottles chemical guys they do make nice easy to use bottles so that's on there not really doesn't really run that much which is good i'm just going to leave that on there for a couple of minutes and then um we'll do a quick wipe a swift wipe as they say and and get a buff and see how well it's done so when you're doing this you kind of just try and do it a bit differently you want to roll as you swipe it wiping so you're not rolling the same batch of dirt across any kind of surface so you just roll it away as you're doing it like that it's easier on a, on, a, on a larger, flatter surface to do that kind of thing, but I feel bad if I didn't tell you. So that's that. I left it a couple of minutes, two or three minutes or so, and get a buff. And um, it pretty much, it's got like, there's like a haze over here and a haze over here um, that's not being getting rid of. Here is a bit clearer white, but you've still got the main marks that are on there. And this bit down here still got the haze on it. It does feel nice and smooth. You can hear the noise change, so that's that. That's that. It's definitely doing something. So what this, what that also does is the Swift Wipe actually puts a protective layer on whatever you put it on as well. So it's like a quick detailer, but a little bit stronger as well. I think it's, does it say ceramic? 
Can't see the world, word ceramic, but it's meant to protect. So we'll say, yeah, that, for something like that, say if it's in the winter and, you, and it's proper horrible snowy weather, that's probably a good, good product to use to wash the entire car. Now what I was going to use next is this G-Technic panel wipe, which is something that you use between polish stages and things like that because you use it to do, you, you normally spray onto the microfiber cloth, do a quick wipe across the surface you're doing and it removes any residue or polish or anything like that, any kind of that you've got on the paint so that the polish can get to the bare paint. I've just been reading on the back of it and it does say do not use on paint protection films or single stage paint. Now, I know this isn't paint protection, the clear kind of film, but it is a covering wrap and I don't want to use that on that for it to like diminish the gloss finish. So we're gonna skip that stage and not use that. But any kind of polishing you do do on your normal paint, other than on um, single stage paint it says, which I don't know if this is actually single stage paint, I can't remember. If so, that's pretty bad. But yeah, I do highly recommend it. It is a really good product. So I've moved to a different area now that isn't now protected by the Swift Wipe. Because obviously we can't really continue the test on that area now it's protected. What I'm gonna try and do now is use some clay bar and clay mist, which is like a surface clay lubricant to use. By a company called Auto Bright, not Auto Bright Direct. I think this is just like an eBay version. So I don't know, I don't know how well it's gonna work. Uh, but we're going to give it a bash and see how well we fare. Make sure there's plenty of lubricant on there. And ho hopefully this will bring out the contaminants out of this without damaging it. Like a clear bar would on the paint, making it ready for any kind of polishing or, or sealing. Put it on there because we don't want it to scratch up. I'm going to spray a little bit on the clear bar itself. Get a whirl. Now I don't think this is going to work. It's trying. Now to be fair there's not really any dirt on the clay bar itself. Which on a normal bit of paint that was contaminated that would start being getting black by now. Um, which this hasn't so I'm just going to quickly wipe that clay lubricant off. Now again this feels really, this feels really smooth now um, compared to any other patches. Is it worth doing? Probably. Is it bringing it back to its former glory? Not really. I've got a feeling the white is going to be an off-white from now on. There's a couple more options, so let's see what they're like. One thing I will say about the clear bar is with the black wrapped roof, it is proper ingrained with dirt. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is rough. You can feel the roughness, you can see the dirt that's in it, obviously because everything's coming straight down onto it. I've done a bit of a clear bar over here, obviously don't do it in direct sunlight, but listen to the difference in this. That's the roof. So that's where I've cleared it. Unbelievable difference, it feels so much smoother. So that's actually made a bit of a visual difference as well. So anything like black, oh yeah, there's a bird there. Hey little buddy, see ya. Yeah, I'm probably going to do it on this roof for uh, before I go to a show. So this is now my final attempt with these Meguiar's two-stage polishers. So you've got um, Ultra Cut Compound, which is the basically you're trying to get rid of swirls. That's what you're going to use uh, to cut down the clear coat. And then you've got Ultra Finishing Polish, which is what usually gives you the nice shine at the end. It'll buff it, um, ready for a sealant or a wax. Now if this is a layer that's solidified on top of the white then there's a possibility in my mind, I may be stupid and wrong, that I could cut and polish that layer out of the way and get back through to the white. But it might corrode it, so I'm going to be very careful. Hey, oh, that sounds fast. I'm going to go straight for the cutting polish, which is <laughs> not what you're meant to do. Always try your, your lower aggressive polish first on your paint. But I'm, I'm, I'm running out of options here and I'm clutching at straws, so give it a good shake. I'm not going to use a machine because I'm not a maniac. I had to go and unclog the nozzle and I and unclogged the nozzle and I accidentally did it and didn't film it. So I'll not give you any reaction yet. That's how well it went. I'll just do another dollop for you guys. Only a small amount, so all we're going to need. I'm just going to spread it 
in the area I want to do it because there's loads of little bits and contamination all over the place on here and then we're going to buff it in a bit of colour in there as well from contamination see now it's clouding which that's what polish does is it masking it is it doing anything it's looking whiter but is it just the polish on top right flip this bad boy over and uh, buff it off shall we oh my word that is gloss white again like new oh my word i can't believe that it's perfect it's exactly what i needed it to do <laughs> that was with the cutting one so like let me that might have looked like nothing to you let me see if i can do some kind of comparison so you can see the difference between what that looks like now what it used to look like so this is dirty see all them bits and contamination and then we'll go to clean bam whiter than ryland's teeth dirty 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 white look at that wow so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to very carefully polish the wrap and hopefully that'll keep it fine i'll i'll get it back to normal if it works like it has done there and then um, pop some kind of sealant over it to protect it and then um, try and avoid it getting back into this state in future but yeah if you're ever in this kind of situation i know it's quite a unique situation because everybody's got wrap on their car but that works really well i'm going to try it on the roof actually first let's try it on the roof you want to see the difference this has made oh my word so i'm just gonna look straight down for you it's hard for me to see because i haven't got a screen that um that moves so that's looking straight down at that you see like the contaminants and things that are, that are in there bits of grit this is a clean roof this is after that wash that we did and in the area where we did the clay so dirty section dirty section that is deep black. Go over here. Look at that. Muck, muck, muck. Clean black. Muck. Clean. Muck. Clean. So, this now, I, obviously I recommend doing the clay bar to get rid of all the surface rubbish because if you don't, then you're going to be polishing all that grit and muck into the wrap. So I would clay it if, if, you, if you could do that. That would be the best thing to do. And then use the polish on it afterwards i'm going to use a shine polish as well on top of that just to make sure that it's buffed up as mirror finish as possible but yeah as a whole then as a consensus clean the car get the clay bar on the wrap with some good, so good amount of lubricant obviously so you don't scratch it up anymore who's caning it and then polish that's the main thing so I've just cleared half of the roof. Look at the dirt on the other side, all the grit that's in the wrap. And then this side's just clear after the clay. And then obviously it's even like smoother and deeper in this section where I've done the polish and the um, quick detailer on top just to protect it for a bit. So yeah, you wanna look, you wanna see the clay. Look at that. That's coming out the pores of the wrap just like paint would do. I'm so glad that that works. Now I'm gonna just try and crack on and do more of this because uh, the sky looks dull, like it's gonna like it's gonna chuck it down. So I'm gonna get as much done as I can before that inevitable happens with us being in the UK. I will say, I'm not a professional detailer or anything like that. I'm just trying things that I think might work from the vague experience that I've had with doing it. So there might be some of you in the, in the comments or some of you watching thinking, whoa, why are you doing that? Don't do this. Or, or of course that works. Why didn't you know that? I'm just going off my knowledge um, and hopefully it'll help people that don't have this level of knowledge that I'm at so that they can kind of get more comfortable with it before possibly progressing to the level that some of you guys are at where you're like expert detail level so yeah i hope that makes sense either way if it does or it doesn't i'm gonna end the video here so thank you so much for watching guys 
click the like button if you did like this video and subscribe and click the little bell so it reminds you when a fresh video does come on I'm really looking forward to getting this all properly sorted and done uh, ready for modifying nationals now and actually getting to like proper weekend show so it's a big one for me this um, I'm excited and nervous at the same time so we'll see how it goes might be a video between then I'm not sure if not I'll see you there we're very 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 close to 8,000 subscribers so I just want to thank you all for that all the likes and shares and views comments everything it all helps so I really really appreciate it I lost about six subscribers as when I released the um, cash guy video so yeah, I think there's a few diesel owners that have just buggered off, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm rambling, as I normally do, so I'll see you next time, and like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Sure.